Who knows what will happen in that time? But like, who really knows what will happen in that time? Who really knows what will actually happen in that time? Okay, so new one guys! Let me save my game first off. Alright, new one now. Let's do, I don't know, Nightbot said I wasn't online, I was like, what? Let's do some happy stuff here, see what they go from here. Cause last one was a little more darker. Let's do Valentine. Awesome. Extraordinary. Desire. Kiss. Marriage. Treasure. Let's do only positive shit here. Beauty. Sugar. Kitty. Love. Sing. Warm. Family. Smile. Um... You know what? Let's click sticky and see what happens. Are you able to tell us some sex stories they used to have. Summer. Amazing. Um. Sunny. And vivid. Bam. Bam. And just in case, let me save my game. Cool. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Ah, her poor soul. I just walked in too. Don't worry, I just walked in too. What's her? She said she's the first one here or the last one? Pumping out these poems at ease. Now, I'm saying, man. Mmm. I had to take a bite of my food. I haven't eaten in, in hours. Ah. Wait. What you guys talking about? Last one? What do you mean last one? Gotta dip anyways to last in this ES. Alright, man. Just no spoilers, guys. No spoilers. Okay. Ah. Holy shit. Anyways. Were you practicing again? Piano again? Yeah. Ah. Uh, you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up a piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you all are willing to help me out at the festival too. Ah, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday? Get called out again! Just give a quick appreciation to the mods guys. They're out here working their asses off. I love these guys. Well, yeah, I'm not talking about our part of the festival, but it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat and kind of delicious food. That's, yeah, that kind of sounds godlike. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Wait, where is Sayori? We walk with her, where is she? Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. I've never tried fried squid. If anyone has, Feedback? Is it actually good? I've never tried it. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Eh, I don't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Oh, they going at it again? Because it's right in your name. Wait, what? Wait, what? I, I Urban Dictionary Monica and it says Monica is a queen. Okay. 
I, I don't... Is Monica ja I guess I guess it's Japanese for squid? Monica. Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes it seem... No sense of translation. If it's not Monica, is it Monica? Like, the fuck is it? Am I saying it wrong? Monica is a queen. Hey, that's what the Revolutionary told me. I know I'm not spoiling myself. I The moment I saw that they were talking about Doki Doki Monica, I closed off. I didn't spoil myself. I'm good. Ika in Japanese is squid. Interesting. Cool. Yeah, I, I closed it off. Don't worry about it. I closed it off. I closed off that tap. Ah, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? Ik, ik, ik. Fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayuri's anyway. Excuse me? Where is Sayori anyway? Where is she at? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. Oh my god. No, no, no. Are you okay? What is wrong? What is wrong? You're spacing out again. Ah, eh, sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. But I'm talking to you! Hey, everybody else chose Yuri too. Don't be blaming this on me. Huh. Is everything alright? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? I want to go back and pick the other option now. I feel so bad. The guilt is killing me. The guilt is killing me. It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sorry, you showed me a big smile. This is the most fake smile ever. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. But I'm talking to you. But I'm talking to you. I want to talk to you. Well, all right. If you say so. Why would our character say that? Why would I? Maybe you can apologize. I know, dude. But he's not apologizing. I know all the Yuri gang. All, all the Yuri gang. Oh my god. We have 700? Oh, you beautiful people. We have 700? Bless up. If you're new and you already followed, hit that follow button. Bless up to everybody being out here. Pushing strong. But the conversations have already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Gang, gang, we're out here, man. Maybe I should ask Monica if she noticed anything about Sayuri recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival. Please, Monica, tell me! We can prevent this! I timidly approached Monica, who was shuffling through some papers at her desk. Oh, bro, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sari recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Don't hide that shit from your girl. I knew her first. Maybe I'm reading a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast. I don't want her to quit the club. Please don't make her quit the club. Like, we can prevent her quitting the club. I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Don't quit. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Oprah. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. For real! Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Are you sure about that? She said she wanted to be left alone. Our character is an idiot. He is an idiot. She wanted to talk to someone. I know nothing of the game. I'm going in blind, dude.
An idiot, man. It's a cry for help. Are you sure? Maybe she's had a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? Like, she knows she likes us. Wait, that's why she's friend zoning us. She knows that she likes us. Fuck. I'm actually really hurt. Shit. What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the other thing on her mind is you, Oprah. It's been confirmed. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Sorry talks about you more than anything else, you know? Oh, no. That's why she friend zones us. She's been so much happier ever since you've joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. If she gets too sad, she'll leave the club. And I'll never hear from her again unless she'll move away. Sayori is always like that. She always has been full of sunshine. If it's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> How do you do this pose when we're having a serious conversation? I'm trying to not stay aroused. I'm trying to stay flaccid. Stop. You're so funny, Oprah. You're flirting with me, but you know that she, your best friend likes me? You're fucked up. That's fucked up, Monica. That's fucked up. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? Mind blown. Mind blown. Mind blown. I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Sure. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it. My man, Silver Tom, Silver Storm, Triple O, four nine nine subscription. Appreciate it so much, my man. Thank you for subscribing. It means a lot, man. Bird know that I won't be able to get her words out of her my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room when Sayori is sitting. Holy shit. I watched her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Yeah, she's like pushing me away. I hope she's not having dark thoughts. Her message seemed... Oh no, don't tell me she's thinking of some dark shit. Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of, ordinary, out of the ordinary. These are signs of dark thoughts. But there's nothing I could do besides wait for Monica. Hey, you. Yeah? I look up to see Natsuki's next to me. Are you just going to sit there and keep staring at nothing? How about you get off my back? There isn't that much time, so... Ah, sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry or anything. It's not like I'm worrying, Baka. I was just... Natsuki glances down at her side. She's holding a volume of manga in her hand. We never read her manga! And we never read Yuri's book! When do we read this shit? That's right. Something just came up for a minute, but we can get started now. I won't make you wait any longer. Jeez. Now you're making me feel like a jerk. If something's bothering you, you can just tell me to leave you alone and I will. I mean, assuming you didn't feel like talking about it or anything. She practically numbles or mumbles that last part. Now, I'm probably making it seem like it's a bigger deal than it is. I've just been thinking about Sayori, which we gotta talk about her! Sayori? Thinking about her? Yeah, she seems pretty down today, but she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. What happened? It's It was us. We chose... Numbles? Dude, I'm really tired. I haven't eaten anything all day. I'm really tired. <laughs> oh! Natsuki exhales. Well, first of all, you should really work on your phrasing. Hey, chill out. But anyways, you're her best friend, right? 
I guess so. Yeah. Then in that case, I think you should trust her a little more. Uh, no. If she needs you, then she'd be the first person that she would go to you, right? Oh, if only she knew. We chose y Yuri over her. So she wants to push us away. Guys, never take this advice from the bitch that said eagles can fly. This is awful advice! Well, I guess that's true. It's not! It's bad! Some people just have those days. <sighs> you can't always avoid it. She's just saying this because she wants us! If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about her because it's not important. But it is. Yeah, that's kind of what she said to me. Maybe it's not right for me to go against her wishes. Exactly! If she needs you to worry about her, then it'll all be more obvious. Uh, yeah? I should have thought about, about it that way from the start. <sighs> Natsuki fiddles with the book she's holding in her hands. She... She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? She does. And eagles flying mean a lot to you too, don't they? And horses can race, and cheetahs can run. Don't get the wrong idea or anything. We've just been friends for a long time. It's normal to be worried about your friends. I mean, you're worried about me, so... Oh my god! Get zoned, dude! I just made a tweet about it right now, guys. I literally tweeted out right now, if no context, eagles can fly. I was not. Jeez, if you're fine, let's hurry and get this started already. Bro, she got zoned. She got zoned. She got zoned so hard, dude. Holy shit. Get zoned, man. Get zoned. Zoning is real. For real. Okay, everyone. After some time passed, I'm gonna get called out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone's going to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica. Oh, my God. Okay, guys. Should we read... Um... Sayori's poem first since we know it's gonna be fucked up since like she's so hurt right now or should we save the best for last because we know hers is gonna be filled with the most content first or last I'm contemplating it dude I'm contemplating it I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori crush it should we do it first okay let's do it first we're gonna do it first everybody said yes so for those of you saying no too late This is your best one so far! She Look at that fake smile, like that worried smile that she's... Uh, 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 look at that. Uh, look at that. Look at that, dude. It's really, really nice, Oprah. Er, thanks? Mmm. Sorry, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything alright? Eh, of course. Everything is fine. Even just a little tired today. Yeah. Do you want a nap? Do you want a nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I want to see smiles on your face. Oh no, 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 no. Don't tell me what it is I'm thinking. No, 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 dude. This is gonna be some dark poem and she's gonna have some dark thoughts. My dumbass said, oh, she's gonna leave the club. That's the last of my worries right now. Hey Oprah. I'm still a little surprised. I really thought that you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. I get it now, guys. I know where this is leading. I put the pizzas together. I get it now. Or even Natsuki. But in the end, yeah. I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. Why? You don't want to get closer with everyone else? Wait, of course I do. But that doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Sayori. There we go, there we go, there we go. I know you have sometimes... I know you have to sometimes put up with me. And I have to sometimes put up with you. 
we have a wavelength of some or something. And this is how the poem came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only exciting thing in my life. Yes, you tell her, you tell her, yes, yes. So sometimes it's just easier to write when thinking about you. Sayori? N no, Oprah, she's crying. I swear to God, get these thoughts out of your head, please. I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. Stay here, stay here. Why are you doing this to me? Sorry, has trouble keeping her voice steady all of a sudden. Oh my god, the feels are hitting, the feels are hitting. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Be strong, be strong, be strong, be strong. Don't cry on stream, be strong, be strong. You gotta be strong, you gotta be strong. <sighs> okay. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. What would be so much easier? Bring it in, bring it in! Sayuri? I glimpsed in the room to make sure nobody has noticed. Sayuri, I've probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what will cheer you up. She shakes her head. She sniffles to keep shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself and puts on a smile. It's nothing, Oprah. It's not nothing! Talk to me! It's not nothing! It's just a little rain cloud. I, the fields of the fields are drowning me, bro. It is not a rain cloud. I'm sorry you have to see all that. Eh, no, don't apologize. I promise it would happen again. No. Oh my god, the fields are hitting me, dude. I'm too invested in the story. I'm too invested in this story. I genuinely thought that us saying all that nice stuff, I thought that we were getting to her. And we did. And she shut us off again. Dude, this game is so dark. The cover looks nothing like this game should be, dude. It's clickbait. Just smiles from everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. What the fuck, dude? I got clickbaited. The cover of this game looks like four anime girls, and you think it's gonna be a fun club. And then you play this fucking game, and you get feels, and it, it, it gives you dark feelings, and, and you get sad, but it's like happy sad, and you wanna help, and... Fuck, man. I got clickbaited. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Oh, hell no. Don't do what I think you're gonna do. Stay here, don't leave. The first tag on the Steam is psychological horror. What I mean, I went blind into this. I went blind into this. I didn't do any research. I've never seen any playthroughs. I've never watched any videos. Um, I've seen images, like like people in the classroom, but that's it. I've never seen anything else. So I'm really blind into this. I never looked at the genre. I bought, I just downloaded the game, that's it. Sorry, don't! Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? Bro, she, don't do this. I'll see you tomorrow. Dog, I'm really sad. I am really sad right now. I'm not even joking, guys. I'm really sad right now. I now get it. This game's gonna fuck with me. Dude, she's not gonna show up tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Please follow her, chase her. Dude, Screw the other poems! We're gonna... What? Dude, 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 dude! Bro! I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to, no, 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 I don't want these other poems, I don't want these other poems, I do not. I do not want these other poems, I do not want these other poems, dude, so, we got a chaser, I know what's gonna happen, it clicks, I know it's, please, 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 don't, 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 don't. I don't, I, I don't care about, you know what, we gotta do Monica, because Monica is connected to her. Monica is connected to her. 
And since Monica's connected to her and they're close friends, maybe Mon I could tell Monica to go chase her. Screw this shit, man. <laughs> Dude, this game is fucking with me, because I actually feel bad. I'm actually feeling sad. Hi, Oprah. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? How can you think of the festival? You're supposed to be her female best friend? What are you doing? Being in this club is one thing, but performing from a bunch of people. I'll have to give it some more thought. Don't think of the festival. What are you doing? Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. Can you, like, stop talking to me? There's a door back there. Run out that door. Go help your best friend. Help her! It would also make me ha see, happy to see. You're laughing? Oh my god. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna actually lose it. I'm gonna actually lose it. Anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. It's pretty good. It makes you think of Sayori. Like the other one that you wrote. If it makes you think of her, run! Run! Dude, run! Turn around! You're supposed to be your best friend? I know I'm her best friend, dude, but I can't, like, physically control this guy to run after her. He's an idiot. This guy's an idiot. You two are like the dynamic duo. Ah, it's kind of ex exaggerating it. Bro, what? Don't make fun of her right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can we, like, instantaneously be Sayori Defense Squad? Don't make fun of her right now. Our character, our dude. What are you doing? Men are trash. I'm a feminist. Men are trash. I'm a feminist. Probably. But you do spend a lot of time with her, even in this club, don't you? Yo, so do you. Don't pin this shit on me. So do you. Then again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. I'm not shy. I... Dog. I, I like Monica so much, dude. But... This? Right now? I'm not with it right now. I'm not with it right now. Ah, I'm just teasing. I know it takes a bit of time to make friends with everyone. But Yuri and Atsuki are super interesting people. So don't be afraid to give them their share of time. And you can talk to me every now and then too. I don't want to talk to you right now. Men are trash. I'm not like unapproachable or anything, am I? Eh, I mean, kinda, right, guys? Like, kinda, ki kinda, right? Like, she's kinda unapproachable because you walk up to her and you tell her some shit and she either curves you or she's like really condescending. Like, no, it's not like that. It's just, I guess the guy's thing that is taking some getting used to. No, she's condescending. I'm sorry if I was putting pressure on you or something. You definitely were because you friends on me like five times. I really didn't mean it like that. Oh, don't worry about it. It's fine. I get what you're saying. Well, all right. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you around, right? Sure. The lady who knows everything. If you... I, I'm, I'm trying so hard not to get triggered. If she knows everything, if she knew that Sayori was like this... Go after her. We may not see her tomorrow, dude. We just may not. Men are trash. The lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. Okay. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. All meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. So she's like comparing herself being so insignificant and small. A feather being this godlike lady that knows everything. I wonder who she is. Lost adrift, is it Mother Nature? That'd be woke if it was. Lost adrift, the sky, victim of the current of the wind. Day after day I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Until one day, the wind ceases to blow. This is so dark. I fall, and I fall, and I fall, and I fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me. So it's not like she's had a rough day. There is, okay, so the lady who knows everything. I don't know who that is. I feel like I have to read the whole thing and then we'll look after it. I'm going to read the whole thing. It sounds like she is portraying herself as a feather and she had a, like, a, 
probably a rough patch in her life. And someone needs to pick her up. A hand catching between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. And I'm sure that's a lady that knows everything. I look at her eyes and I find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything. Is the lady who knows everything Sayori? Knows everything, knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amounts to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend, your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat. And I pick up a gust of wind. So, the, so it sounds like she is a feather, right? And the feather is falling from like a tree, and it falls because she had a, a, a rough life, right? And she probably went through something that was rough in her life, and she used the feather, so she fell. In comparison to this lady, she is saying that she is nothing compared to this lady, because this lady, here she is, she knows everything before she can even speak, has all the information, fast information, whereas she is just a simple, insignificant feather that doesn't know anything. So, she got in a slump, and this lady picked her up, and has helped her throughout all of it. But, I have found every answer which I, of all of which amount to nothing. There's no meaning, there's no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend, your legend does not exist. So is it in her head if the legend doesn't exist? Falls from a tree? No, it's just me saying it falls from somewhere high, dude. I don't know, dude. This one is deep. Monica been on this deep shit, man. Monica always makes me think. Monica always makes me think. It was a breath, she blows me back a flute. And I pick up a gust of wind. So, the lady is then always helping her back up. I think this is supposed to mean that anytime she has a bad day, Saori would help her out. And Saori always knew what to say and do. So, that last, especially that last, like, text right there kind of confirms that. Where it's like, and with a breath, she blows you back a flute and I pick up a gust of wind. Pick up a gust of wind means she's getting back on track. I think that's what it is. I think it's Sayori. I'm 100% on that. I think it's Sayori. And she is the one that helps her out in her time of need. But you are a fake friend, Monica. What are you doing? You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are all sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical. Philosophical. Or anything. But it was kind of my mind. It was kind of my mind. So that's what I wrote about. I'm I I I'm I, I'm a, I'm I'm a firm believer that the Lady of the Earth is Saori, and she's the feather. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical, because oh shit, because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? Woke, Monica, chill out. We're streaming. What are you doing? This is supposed to be a casual stream, and here you are. Whole lot of ass. Out here with all this deep shit. Wild, right? Monica gotta chill out. <laughs> Monica gotta chill out. You notice one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Kinda wish I knew this going into the game, but I'm already in. Ah, are you surprised? The very first poem was weren't that bad. They were kinda well, they were like sad, but like very small degree sad. You know what I mean? We wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I, I, what are you smoking, dude? I think you know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Ah, yeah, that. Oh my god, she's fraud. She's a fraud smarty. Anyway... Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response. Bitch, you, bitch, we bathing? But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they want to, they want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things that you can work on. Damn, Monica, that's deep. 
It's much more encouraging that way, and it'll make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's our advice for today. Ha! Funny, it's almost like I'm having my own... My own, uh, literature club. That's- Yo, Monica is on some shit. I'm trying to get on what she's on, bro. She is most definitely on some shit, dude. 100% man holy shit time flew by okay why not gonna go beyond five hours I promise you that guys because I need to go to the store for a clues thanks for listening ooh woo all right we never leave Yuri for last let's leave her for last He's streaming. I will tomorrow, I promise. We're gonna keep going though. Don't worry, we're gonna keep going. Oh my god. Anyways, we're gonna get right back with this. Ah. Hold, there is a part two. There will be a part two. We're going to finish this game on stream. Well, 100% finish this game on stream. My first intent was I'll play this game one time on stream because you guys really wanted me to do it and we hit the sub goal for it, so why not? And then... Yeah, I know. Last time it was the clock was 7 p.m. here at 11.30. This one's all right. All right. Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's anyway. We are being criticized, and our poem is being torn up by this idiot that says eagles can fly. Come on, man. I see what you're going for, but it's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad that you're trying a little bit. Well, of course, I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems? I would also like to know. Why? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Why are you so invested? I know that you like me. I'm at work tomorrow, Kubu. I'm gonna try and stream it when you're not at work tomorrow. How about that? Psh. Eh. No, gross. It's not like I care. It's just that one of us is in his club. Has to make sure you're not slacking off. Really? Well, what if you ended up just scaring me away? Yeah, what if you did? What if you did? That's, um, it's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. <laughs> Holy shit. <clears throat> he made my noise. He made my noise. How far have I gotten? I'm like, day three, right, guys? This is day three. This is day three. He made my noise. That's my noise. <clears throat> oh? Maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was just, I was just joking. I was. Oh, I know. Don't worry. I was too. But you. It's a load of barnacles. <laughs> Don't forget to save. Oh, dude, you're right. Bless your soul for reminding me that. How the hell do you call that a joke? That's seriously- wait, our character's hurt by that? Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. I should have just watched her mouth around Natsuki. Anyway, Natsuki holds a poem out to me like nothing ever happened. I'll be your beat! This is the same person that called my poem trash! I'll be your beat! I'm so hurt. Okay. 100 bits, my man, chilled. Thank you so much, my guy. Appreciate it, man. All right, guys. Well, this is the chick that slaughtered us just right now and said that our poem is trash. So let's read this. I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place 
a beach for us to go. Okay, so she wants to go to a beach, which this beach is probably a metaphor, and it's probably somewhere that's actually not a beach. Probably representing something. A shore reaching beyond your sight. So, I feel like it's a goal. The beach is the goal. And the shore reaching beyond your sight means that the goal is actually coming to you a lot quicker than you expected. A sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. Meaning that nothing will stop me from hitting this goal. I think that's what this is trying to represent, but that's kind of positive so far. I'll be the beach. Oh, she's the beach. Meaning that she wants to be our goal. She wants to be our pure happiness. She wants to be something that makes us happy. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that your daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought you had left long ago. So it's like a love, this is a love poem. Basically, a beach for us to go. She's the beach. She wants us, she wants for her to be our happiness and stuff like that. Yeah, that's godlike. Um, let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. I, I think the sand is when you're hugging. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty, meaning since she's the beach, you can wash that shit away, okay? And let me see you shine. Yeah, she's actually... Yeah, yeah, she's the beach. That's that's woke. And I just caught that so fast. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. Set you free in my windy sail. Footprint trail, meaning you're leaving behind all the bad memories because she is here to make you happy. And remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. She is definitely in love with us. What is going on? I'll be the beach that washes the worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that you make your heart leap in a way you thought you had left long ago. But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. So in order for us to love ourselves, we have to accept her as in our life, which is weird. I think it says in the poem seven times. Well, I figured it out because in literally the title says, I'll be your beach, bro. Give it the program, man. What are you talking about, man? Give it the program, dude. What are you doing? Give it the program, man. Yeah. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. I am also shocked that it was also positive and oddly nice. I am also shocked. That also shocks me. Besides, the beach is awesome. Eh, you ain't shit. Kinda hard to write anything negative about the beach. Crabs? People that spill ice cream on your chest when you're sunbathing? I'm not wise, I wouldn't know this. Um, a shark? There's a couple negative things you can write about the beach. So you decided to write, oh, that's us. So you decided to write about the beach first and then came up with a message later? Yeah, well, it's only because of what happened yesterday. Girl, you're trash at writing. She cute though. I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing, she wanted to pick a topic and have us both write about it or whatever. You just can't really see her doing that too. Making us write about a simple topic then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. Eh... Pretty sure SpongeBob taught us all well that if you rip your pants at the beach, you're kind of screwed. At the very least, it was good practice. That was very short. Holy shit, guys. It's time. I'm not going too far. Not an A. I'm not going too far. It's time, guys. Let's get blown away by Yuri's genius. Every time Monica does something, it confuses me, and then we get it eventually. Uh, fucking Na Natsuki does something. We get it right away, but it's just dumb. Uh, Sayori does something, and it's really sad and dark, but she's such a happy person. And I worry for her. And then Yuri does something and it's just so unbelievably dark and passionate. Let's see what Yuri does. Yuri always has some deep ass passionate stuff. Always. So I am quite curious to see what she has this time around. Yuri gang, Yuri gang. We out here, Yuri gang. Ah, decided to try something different today. I guess so. Isn't that good or bad? 
Well, neither. I have my preferences. But it would be unfair of me to call something good or bad based on that. As always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's woke. She's already starting off insanely woke. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. <laughs> but like, actually though, I don't want to disappoint her. Eh? Why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and you have the most advice to share. Is that so? Oh, boy, 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 boy. Ooh. Bruh. We definitely trying to get in there. We trying to get in the guts. Yuri thinks for a good minute. That must be terrible. For me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome. How unlikable of me. Yuri, it's not... It's not that bad. You're, you're making it sound like... You're making it sound bad in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. That's it. I see. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to these sort of things and conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Oh my gosh, she overthinks because she's been hurt. Overthinking? Being disliked. Has she been bullied? What happened to her being disliked? That's why she was harming herself because she was disliked? Why that mouse on her chest? Oof, I did not mean for that to happen. Yuri? What? What am I saying? I'm sorry. I don't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. Alright. You want to show your poem now? Okay. Here. Here we go. Here we go, bruh. I gotta drink water before I do this. Okay. Beach. Oh, Natsuki, get played! She literally said, I wanted to write something different than Yuri. And I'm like, cool, Yuri would never write about anything this positive or a beach. Get played, Natsuki, get played! She wrote about a beach as well. Your shit got leaked, girl. Your shit got leaked. Oh, I forgot her handwriting sucks. Alright, let's do this. The beach is a metaphor. A marvel millions of years in the making. When the womb of Earth chaotically meets the surface. Under a clear blue sky. An expanse of bliss. But beneath gray rolling clouds, an endless enigma, the easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. Dog, she's so woke. She is genuinely so woke. One can only be one can only build a sandcastle where the sand is wet. Chill, 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 chill. But where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, 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 stop. Will it gently lick at your foundations until you give in? Or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Whoa, 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 whoa. Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build sand castles. This is woke! Okay, let me sum it up. 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 Okay? You can constantly keep doing something when it's in the right condition, right? But when it's also in the right, I, I, okay, I don't, the sand is wet. Okay, so this is, I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to word it. I'm trying to word it, but I get it. I'm trying to word it. This line right here, one can only build a sand castle where the sand is wet, but when the sand is wet, the tide comes. Meaning, you can do something, right? But I think it means that you should be cautious. Don't rely on something too heavy because when you get comfortable with something, it can still fuck up. Notice that, because comfortable sand casting building is when the sand is wet, but when it's also wet, it's a double-edged sword, the tide can get rid of it. Okay. And one bad thing can send you crashing in the blink of an eye, meaning one fuck-up can actually fuck you up. Regardless of whatever, the outcome is the same. We still try. We still try. I think that's the message in this. We still try. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles. Where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy... I think that's tendrils? 
uh, turned back and I abandoned my peace to evade at the shore. Drift forward and I return to Earth forever. Forevermore. Okay, so she basically saying that if she goes back and she gets rid of her peace, her happiness, to avoid the mistakes, turn back and I abandon my peace to evade at the shore. So if she goes backwards, she's getting rid of her peace. To basically ignore a mistake, meaning that you should tackle on mistakes head on. Tackle on issues head on. But if you're going forward straight into it, you basically return right where you be right where you started. And I return to Earth forevermore because isn't in the beginning where she said the womb of Earth chaotically meets the surface? I mean that if you actually return to Earth, wouldn't you go back to the beginning? I think that's what yeah, you're, there it is. That's what I was trying to figure out. That's the wording for it. You're at a risk. There's always a risk. There's always a risk. The basic TLDR meaning of this is there's always a risk, and you should never get too comfortable with something. When something is challenging, take it on headstrong. Don't run from it, or you start from the beginning. I think that's the general TLDR message of this. I, I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is. That's kind of woke. Yuri is deep, man! Wow. We're really Yuri. You're, you're talking about fuck. No, I don't think she's talking about that, Doug. Yuri is deep! Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an, in, an inane thing to write about. Really? Because your friend over there... She wrote about the beach as well, and she thought that she was original. That's when you and another content creator coincidentally do the same thing at the same time, and you did not know that it was going to happen. Bam. You both drop the same playthrough, same part one, same project, same lock variant. <laughs> I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about, but I did my best to take the metaphorical approach to it. Her metaphor game is strong. Her metaphor game is strong. Yeah, Natsuki already told me about that. She did? She didn't say anything weird, did she? She just wanted us to write about the same topic again? I suppose to be to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought process. You literally destroyed Natsuki's shit stain of a beach poem, dude. You literally destroyed it. Literally destroyed it. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just wanted to request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. Oof. She called her shit trash. Oof. Damn, girl! Yuri is a savage! It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to call my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing our poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. Is it just me? Or did you say something strange just now? What, what did she say? What, what did she say? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. I. Does she have a catchphrase? So sorry, man! Is so Ori okay? I said so sorry. Holy shit. I'm so exhausted. I'm hungry. I'm insanely hungry, so I'm getting a little exhausted. So I might fuck up here. Okay. Let's see. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ooh, <laughs> the ooh, gonna get some ooh, some ooh. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. It's Sayori! Dog, we may not see her tomorrow. 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 In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. What? Our character's up. He's a bitch. He's straight up a bitch. He is honest to God a bitch. He is an honest to God bitch. What are you doing? What do you mean it doesn't matter if she's not here, dog? It seems you're right. Sigh. <laughs> I should have just asked him to sigh. Sigh. 
Um, Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's bound to thrown off a little when she's not around. What the heck does she run off to anyway? Or where? I thought she just went to pee. No, you idiot. Nazuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Actually, she actually just wasn't feeling well and she went home already. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times not to go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? Yo, Natsuki! Tell him, bro! Roast us, please! Drag this MC right now, dog. Drag him! Nothing but facts! A genuine loss right now, when Natsuki understands this. The youngest one! Drag us! Get us! So much for YouTube being all lovey-dovey. Oh my god. Please, I encourage this dragging! Ah, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. Damn, bitch, okay. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today. So I don't want to force it. Ho? Oh. That curious expression coming from Yuri of all people? Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything is fine. No, no, but the thing is, is that everything is not fine, and you didn't talk to her earlier. You don't even know what's going on, Monica. Hey, I don't, I don't even care at this point if you friends on a nigga all, all, all three days, but... You gotta understand, Monica. You a fake friend. What did she say? Any, anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparation, so... Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. She cared the question. You know what she's gonna do. You know what's wrong, and you're smiling? Oh my god, dude. There's just no way. Does Mo no way Monica knows. We're gonna figure this out here soon. Monica's acted like she knows. She didn't say anything. She didn't deny it. She didn't deny it at all. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. I don't want to talk about cupcakes. I want to talk about Sayori, man. But we might need a lot of them. And different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing, assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Somebody check in on Sayori! Sayori will be helping me design them. No, she will not. No, she will not. And as for you, Yuri. Yuri, you can. Uh, um. Yeah? Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? You're just an awful friend. Monica's an awful friend. She may be cute. Definitely the best waifu, but she is an awful friend. You know what? Yuri's actually fighting you for that spot, Monica. Keep it up. Keep it up, and you gotta get slaughtered. Keep it up. Keep it up. Yuri gang is unprecedented. Yuri gang, it's unprecedented, dude. I... I'm useless? No, you're not. No! That's not it at all. We're not gonna make two people feel upset! Don't do this! You're the most talented person here, you know? Then why did, why can't you get a job? Why can't you get a job? Why can't you do- why? Why? Now Natsuki's pouting too? Oh, some leader. Team leader, team leader, some leader. Jeez, even I could tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit. She really did keep the balance of shit. But I could tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ah, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader of my own, then I won't grow as a person. True though, that's true. That's true. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should come make some banners and decorations to help settle the... She has beautiful handwriting? I, I, yeah, I guess. Maybe I just... Yeah, I guess. Atmos atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmospheres. <laughs> Yuri's expression suddenly changed as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Oprah. The one who's truly useless. Yo, Monica, what's good? I know that I'm saying this, but I know that's what she's thinking. She's thinking that. I said it, but she's thinking that. Monica. You have friend zoned me. You have made fun of my poems. Um, you have uh, gone at me for no reason. You have snapped at me. Monica, I just don't get it, honey. I don't do anything to you, and you are tearing my life apart. What are you doing? It be your own niggas, dog. It be your own niggas. It be your own club members. 
It'd be your own Doki Dokis. It'd be your own Uwas. Monica, what's good, girl? Ah, uh, don't say that. In fact, what, what, what? Have the pretty heavy task to handle. It would probably go along the way if you give them one a hand. You know, she's saying that because she doesn't know what I can do. Ergo, help one or the other. Or do nothing, is what she's saying. You could always help me out as well. Oh. You hear that, guys? She, uh... Could always help me out as well. What does that, uh... What does that mean? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's going on here? I thought I was being zoned. Are we... Are we finally out of the... Are we, are we... Yeah, are we out of the... I would really appreciate... Are we out of... Yo! Get the girl, dog. She a thought. Yo! Are we out of the zone? Ah? Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spent the weekend with one of my club members? It be your own club members. How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Bro. I don't care. We're loyal. We're loyal. We're loyal. I'm not going to deny your offer, Monica. Nothing's going to happen. I'll talk to you, but I'm your game to the death of me. You're right. She a thought. I can't, I can't touch that. If she breathes, she's a thought. And Monica is definitely breathing. I suppose I wouldn't mind a, a bit of help. Oh! Really now? Everybody wants us. Everybody. Now Yuri is. Yo! Yuri gang! She really wants us now, dog. This is nuts. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. The whole squad wants to hit it. I'm sorry, guys, but you've shown me no brains. Natsuki, you've shown me that you are an idiot. Monica, you've shown me that you're just mean. And Yuri, you've shown us that you are a hurt female that needs love and affection. I'm here for you. I'm choosing, I am choosing Yuri. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice. And you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki... You mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. <gasps> That's our queen. That's our queen. That's our queen. You get her though. But you get her though. Oh my god. Bro. Yuri gang. You. Dog. She is stays torching Natsuki dude. She stays on her ass. You get her though. That is exactly what you said. You get her though. Holy shit dude. This is insane. It's insane. Oprah may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. Oh my god. Yo. Keep going. Keep going. Talk for me. Talk for me. Keep going. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Oh my fucking god. Two guns, gat gat. Yo, not to get you've been blown to bits. Actually blown away. That is our queen and savior, boys. Yuri gang, stay strong, dude. Hold on. I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Oprah to... What are you saying? It was extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys. This nigga's for me. <laughs> no, but real shit. Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I get his cock. <laughs> I think it's up to Oprah to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides... He hasn't really gotten a chance to spend any time with me yet, you know. Oh! What's going on? 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 Yo, 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 I don't know. 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 I do not know. I just do not know. I do not. On one hand, the Sunday is out of the option. She's out of the option. She's gone. Out of the option. I don't want to bake. But on one hand, we have our god, our queen, Yuri, Yuri gang. We have our queen on the right hand, right? Right? Check it, right? And then on the left hand, we have been friend zoned, bullied, attacked, torched, uh, ripped apart. But now she wants it after all this character development? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You lost your chance, Monica. You lost your chance, girl. 
So I'm sure he's interested in- Whoa, 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 whoa. In what? In what? You literally just said- I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Oprah, you're okay with this, right? I- In the end, it's up to you. Ah, of course! Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. We get the Ultraversal Yori! Oh my god! What do we do? This? I didn't even know she was on the option, dude! Fuck everybody! Screw these hoes, dog! We gotta run for her! Someone needs her, dude! We gotta go! Ah, uh ah! -uh, I'm gone! I'm gone! We need them! We need them! Ah, uh ah, -uh, dude! I'm gone! If she breathes, she's a thought, and all three of you are breathing down my neck. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I am gone. She needs help. She needs me. She needs me. I'm gone. I'm literally gone. I'm gone. Oh, hell no. I didn't even know that was an option, dude. Hell no, bro. I'm doing it. I'm sorry for everything I've said. I'm doing it. I, I will learn my own way. I will learn my own way. All right? I will 100% learn my own way. All right? I'm not trying to get some poon right now. I'm trying to save a friend. Let's go, dude. Let's go, let's go, let's go. If it's going to be anyone, then refer to Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors and... But Monica said... Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Jeez. Do you really hate us that much? I will never get this option again. I'm following my heart. Guys, look. Maybe some of you don't agree with that, but I'm 100% following my heart. I will learn the hard way. I will learn the hard way, all right? Maybe we'll play through this game again in different routes. But for now, when I'm going in blind, I am out of breath, of course. We're going to learn this way, dude. Let's do it. No, no. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just think of the club, okay? No way. No way. They disregarded Sayori. We got cocked. We got cocked. No way. She was totally just. What is the point of putting her there? No way. This. This. Just no way, dude. What is the point of putting her there, man? We got clickbaited. I don't know. I, I gotta think. I gotta think. I don't know what to do right now. I gotta think. I just... <sighs> They're traitors. They're not good friends. I'm so hurt, dude. We're... You already know Yuri gained to the death of us, bro. My man, FLC, Twitch Prime subscription. Appreciate it so much, my guy. Thanks so much. You guys already know. Yuri gang, we're loyal to the death of us. No, not more. Not Monica. Monica friends with us this entire time. She was just torching us, dude. So if they're gonna go based off this belief that Sayori is gonna help Monica, we just got clickbaited. Monica, um, dude, we're doing Yuri gang. We're doing Yuri right now, guys. We're 100% doing Yuri gang. We're doing it. We're loyal to the death of us. I'm gonna do Yuri. All right. I'm gonna lock it in, guys gonna happen when to get our own experience with this i know some of you probably want me to do monica i love how no one is team natsuki oh there's that one guy <laughs> but um i'm doing yuri all right we're gonna get our own i'm telling you when i say this we're gonna get our own experiences with this i feel betrayed after that last i feel betrayed i'm doing it well i'll probably just say most of you help it out yuri Bruh! We are here, dude! We are in there like swimwear, man. Whoa! Bruh! Oh, it just feels so good being this loyal, waiting this long! Are you serious? Why would you? Natsuki, I can already tell that you're about to say something mean. 
No. I was just saying. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Oprah? Yes. That is what I'm going to do. We are in there like swimwear. We have been Team Yuri. Yuri gang for a long time. Let's see where this goes. Let's see this through, guys. Let's see this through. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sort of things. So I think your assistant will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the bacon yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Everyone gets out of Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word. Oh my god, look at the smile on her face. Look at the smile on her face. Look at the smile on her face. Bro. Bro. And we passed the five hour mark. Bro, look at the smile on her face. Look at the smile on her face. We are in there. I gotta, I can't move. I can't move, guys. I can't move. I gotta save. For this moment, I gotta save. We are in there, bro. We are in there, bro. She wants it, but we're in there. But I suppose I'm looking forward to a little bit. A little bit. I did not choose your everybody to hear that. Do you feel the same, Oprah? Me? Ah, I guess you can say I feel I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? She's so hurt. Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No, that's not what I meant at all. Uh, Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Oprah picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. <laughs> Holy shit. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. Hey, she's giving her gas! Look at that! Usually, she's like, tor they're torching each other. They're at each other's throats. I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Um, well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to chip me all of a sudden? I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No, I kind of appreciate it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. I don't... I don't think that they will. It's, it's a festival. Ah, I believe you. Yeah, I have to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's more for me today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I started to follow Monica and Atsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Oh! It's time! Um. I turned around. Sorry. I realize I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. You're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. Oh! We're in there! All right, then. You and I exchange phone numbers. Can I, like, get your actual phone number on my actual phone so I can hit her up at, like, 3 a.m. in the morning? Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. My house? Is it a problem? Not at all, dude! But what about Sayori? I just thought that I'd be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Uh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. Absolutely correct, yes. Come over, please. I insist. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decided not to press you for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either way. So I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I managed to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Oprah. I think that will make a very productive team. Ha! Huh, productive! Ha! Huh. Even if you only chose me because you feel bad or something. Wait! You don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the only reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. Bam. But 
Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're, you're, you're overthinking it. You're fine. You're overthinking it. You, I mean, you wanted me to point out when you're overthinking it, right? It, I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. Is going to be a cussing here? I believe you. And if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I may go out the door and Yuri follows. Dude, we're at home. Where's Sayori? Yuri's going to be coming to my house on Sunday, even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori. My anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, but who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why did I feel nervous after saying Sayori find out about this? It's not that like we feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, it's all about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. It's already Sunday. It's time.